the nut shack sells hazelnuts for $6.80 per pound and peanuts for $5.30 per pound. How much of each type should be used to make a 37 pound mixture that sells for $5.91? Let's first define the variables to represent the unknowns. Let's let H equal the number of pounds of hazelnuts and P equal the number of pounds of peanuts. Because the mixture will be 37 pounds, we know that H plus P must equal 37. Now I'll write a second equation using the cost. The cost of the hazelnuts times number of pounds of the hazelnuts plus the cost of the peanuts times number of pounds of peanuts must equal the cost of the mixture times the number of pounds of the mixture, which means six dollars eighty cents times H or six point eight H would give us the cost of the hazelnuts plus five dollars thirty cents times P or five point three times P would give us the cost of the peanuts and this must equal the total cost of the mixture which would be five dollars ninety one cents times thirty seven pounds or five point nine one times thirty seven. So now to determine how many pounds of hazelnuts and how many pounds of peanuts the mixture will have, we need to solve this system of equations. 5.91 times 37 is equal to 218.67. So let's write this second equation as 6.8H plus 5.3P equals 218.67. So now we can disregard this equation here and at this point we need to decide whether we want to keep decimals in the second equation or multiply through by a value to clear the decimals from the equation. If we do want to clear the decimals, notice how because the decimal on the right has two decimal places, we would have to multiply both sides of the equation by 100. So let's go ahead and clear the decimals from this equation by multiplying both sides by 100. So we'll multiply the left side by 100 and the right side by 100. By doing this, 100 times 6.8H would be 680H plus 5.3P times 100 is 530P. On the right, 218.67 times 100 is 21,867. So now we'll go ahead and disregard this equation as well. And we'll solve the system of equations, H plus P equals 37 and 680H plus 530P equals 21,867. Let's go ahead and solve this system of equations on the next slide. We need to decide whether we want to solve this system by using substitution or elimination. Because we can easily solve this first equation for H or P, let's use the method of substitution and solve this first equation for H by subtracting P on both sides of the equation. So if we subtract P on both sides, we have H equals 37 minus P. Now that we have the first equation solved for H, we could perform a substitution for H in the second equation. We can substitute 37 minus P for H, which will give us one equation with one unknown. Performing this substitution, we would have 680 times the quantity 37 minus P plus 530P equals 21,867. Notice now we have an equation with one unknown, which we can now solve for P. To solve for P, for the next step, let's clear the parentheses here. 680 times 37 is equal to 25,160. And we have minus 680P plus 530P equals 21,867. Combining like terms, negative 680P plus 530P is equal to negative 150P. So we have 25,160 minus 150P equals 21,867. Next, we isolate the P term by subtracting 25,160 on both sides. Simplifying simplifies to zero, so we have negative 150P equals 21,867 minus 25,160, which 
factor is equal to negative 3,293. And our last step is solve for p is to divide both sides by a negative 150. Simplifying on the left, this simplifies to one p or p. And now we need to find this quotient. But the directions do say to round to the nearest pound, which means we'll round to the one's place value. Negative 3,293 divided by negative 150 rounded to the one's place value would round to 22. So now we know the mixture will contain 22 pounds of peanuts. We still need to determine the number of pounds of hazelnuts, so we'll substitute 22 for P in this equation here, where we have H equals 37 minus P. So because H equals 37 minus P, and we now know P is approximately 22, we know h is equal to 37 minus 22, which is equal to 15. So now we know the mixture contains approximately 22 pounds of peanuts and 15 pounds of hazelnuts. So going back to the first slide, again we just found h is equal to 15 and p is equal to 22, or at least approximately, and therefore the mixture has 15 pounds of hazelnuts and 22 pounds of peanuts. I hope you found this helpful.